Today we've been launching the Polymare. It's the world's first ever boat made out of 99% recycled plastic. I think it's an amazing project. It started with a throwaway line at a meeting saying, why don't we make a plastic boat? And sort of for nine months, we've been desperately trying to make it come together. So we had the school involved. We had the company that made plastic up in Scotland. We had the Maverick boat builder who put it all together. And today we brought it back down to Canary Wharf to the school children whose idea it really was in the first place to make a, a boat out of recycled plastic from the plastics that they've been fishing out of the water here. If you collaborate with a really brilliant idea, you can do amazing things. I'm just so excited about today. It's happened in nine months and so it feels like the birth of a baby. It's the most amazing thing. And I think it's a brilliant thing to get the community together, to get people to understand the problem of plastic and to understand the circular economy. So I couldn't be more excited. The whole point of the circular economy is that we can't make and destroy things. We can only change them into other things. So we have to look at all of our waste and think about what we can turn it into that's useful to society and has a value. And I think this boat is an amazing example of something that would have just been rubbish and just been a problem that's been able to be turned into something that's really, really useful, really exciting, uh, really creative and something that children can get involved in and really enjoy the experience of. It's pushed my boundaries, our boundaries as a boatyard, which is always rewarding when we've got it right and we've got it right first time. The process has been quite slow but methodical, discovering the ins and outs of working with plastic wood. It's not that different from traditional timber. I'm very proud of the boat. The, the boat really performs very well as a, as a work boat, very stable and safe. We've had it passed by the Port of London Authority. We had a swamp test and we filled the boat up with water, brimful, and it just flowed out. Very, very stable and very safe. Well, the boat's amazing. For a start, it's got an electric motor, so you just glide off. You don't even hear the sort of like chug, chug, chug of an engine and it just feels like a sort of really solid wooden boat. I'm quite amazed that you know you can turn plastic into something that strong uh, and, and really quite elegant as well. The boat handles really well but because she's narrow and the uh, outboard goes all the way that way and all the way this way, she handles really well and she spins really nicely so it turned out to be really good for plastic fishing. In the future, hopefully we're going to get companies to come down and use the boats and plastic fish and learn about the environment. And we intend to take um, all the children from the school out on the boat to help them learn about plastic fishing and recycling plastic. The UK is a great centre of innovation. I think this is a huge opportunity for the UK economy. I'd like to see the government getting much, much more involved in the circular economy and really leading the way on it. What you see is that each generation has a project. For my generation, it was to stop our parents from smoking. For this generation, it's going to be raising the level of awareness about how we are destroying the environment. And I think that they will instigate the change and they will demand the change on a government and international level. So we're delighted that the Minister, Therese Coffey, was here, went on the boat, she went fishing, uh, she pulled out a football. But what we hope to show her is that you can recycle plastics, you can do it all in the UK, you can do it really creatively, and we hope the government will set policies and encouragement in place that will make local authorities and businesses think about how they can create this circular economy at scale. <laughs>